Hello, I'm the Razas Gamer, and we are back with my Let's Play series of the Dynasty of Barcelona in Crusader Kings 3. And we, in the last episode, had Magnus converted himself to a new religion uh, in the belief of one of the Ju Judaism faiths. And we had a rebellion start as well. Exactly an Italo French Catholic uprising. So, this episode we are looking to get that quelled there. And we also want to see if we can also improve the domain holdings in Urgel but we need to get rid of that and build up some money again because we are losing some money due to this war that we did not start so let's get into it and see where we go oh there's one thing that's free um, we want to go to a dynasty and go to legacies as we are able to now unlock a new legacy. So I could go extend into law or glory. Yeah, let's go with glory. So earning respect. That would give personal scheme power plus 25% and monthly diplomacy lifestyle experience plus 10%. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, actually. Well, faithful magistrates. Title creation cost is minus 20%. And control growth is. Ooh, improves as well. Or. These might actually be good. Noble veins. Just get a bit of a noble veins in there. So. Down here, so we've just taken that from there. Let's go take that city. Mercy for the mercenaries! A bustling event in the fine side, a calm evening after a long day of training. My tanker is knocked out of my hand by a mercenary reeling from a blow. And all hope of relaxation drains away into the floor along with my cider. Please my lord, the innkeeper begs, Gilliam George's thugs have been drinking me dry. Without paying for days and fighting, their fighting is scaring off their staffing guests. The soldiers threw them out. Taster has died. Has he died? He's a green skull, so that. So, uh, what's a green score again? I believe it says it died of natural causes. All right, let's go back to play. Um, we want to see if we can get a Sardinia and Corsica. 
Incognito tonight, I have stripped myself of every symbol signifying my rank to walk anonymously among my soldiers. It is a quiet evening, so when the argument breaks out, the words reach me loud and clear. An infantry is trying to convince his commander, my vassal, Mayor Louis, of the advantages of an alternative strategy. Louis will hear none of it. As I approach, the infuriated man raises his fists. Ooh, so. I'm gonna make an example out of them. Hee <laughs> hee. So, as I was saying. Ooh, Christian comes of age. They grow up so fast. So, what was I doing? Yes, I wanna see your options. Yep, so we don't have any options there. So we need to resolve this as well for that. Betrothal fulfilled. Enemies left war. Ooh, that's cool. That makes it easier. But how are we doing with this? Okay. Let's go to the next target. Uh, let's go up to Brass. Oh, we could go to Mallorca, but I don't. I'd rather not. We got eight thousand in total. Yeah, we got more than that, which is good. A scheme at court, my spy master has come with, to me with grave news. Well, we do not yet know who, someone is plotting to kill me. We must stop this villain behind this. Uh, disrupt schemes, good. You want a sway scheme? Where are they actually going to? Seem to have much plan where they're going to there. Okay, let's see the war count. Yes, we've definitely got more men than them now. So that started the other way round. Ooh, a neighbouring rulers won a war. The Byzantine Empire is still having a, a civil war of some kind. What year is it now? 1045? Ooh, another civil, another war. Neighbouring neighbor, ruler has won a war. Oh, and to this squeamish King Magnus, you we have been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more. We are done paying your taxes. Once your coffers dry up and your larders are empty, you will wish you had treated us as fairly. Oh, a peasant revolt. So, every county and the faction... Um. 
Um, now for a peasant's lot is to serve that lord. Hopefully it's not many of them. Yep, yeah, just one. And where's this peasant army growing up? Four, five hundred. I'm glad I don't have that option. Right, that's then done. Let's go face them in battle. Oh, and then, then they immediately move. Oh, Caesar's triumph. So during his siege of Alessia, Caesar determined that direct assault on the well fortified city would be too costly. He instead he ordered his army to build his own fortress, which he surrounded the entire city, trapping the only busy garrison inside to starve while simultaneous, simultaneously preventing reinforcements from relieving the defenders. So uh, I will pick Caesar took a risk with that plan, but it paid off. So I gain the trait Reckless. To My dear Romilda, I might have not, not have loved you, yet I feel you're passing more acutely than I ever thought possible. You were always there, my constant companion. Did I take you for granted? There are so many things I left unsaid. I hope you find peace, Romilda. Ooh, they've got 9,000 now. An empty throne. Let's go to the courts. I've already done it for once. Let's go to the court. Whoa, there's lots of stuff to, going on. Um, inspirations, we can't do any of those. There's a lot of... Uh, let's go with Pandro ex Excess. Each day it seems my court is abuzz with the talk of the next banquet, and many have grown. And rather more portly, as of late, the culinary activity is fuelled by Thibault, Rizlaura and Fedora's constant vying to demand the most memorable meal from my overworked cooks. Today it's my son-in-law, Thibault, who draws. My liege, tonight I am having the kitchens prepare the richest sauce known to man, served with ten bird on roast, licking his lips hungrily. Massy Carl sighs disapprovingly. These fleeting pleasures are nothing compared to the Lord's grace. Ooh, um... I can't wait. Next, an Epicurean Entertainment. Oh, excellent veal cutlets for everyone, Miss Lara bellows merrily, gorging herself as the servant desperately steadies the, steadies the serving tray. Oh, my beloved entrements, you truly are delectable, Carls, says with a singing voice. Now, this is what a life is all about. Servants, more invigorating herbal infusions now. Fedora demands, it would appear that my courtiers are enjoying themselves. Ooh. Um, I should let them be. And royal laps, the pageantry of court continues day after day from dawn to dusk. Sesananda extemptopore rises on my greatness, spouting platitudes and praises. Nearby Count Foco joins in playing to the crowd, grinning stupidly and expecting a sign of my favour for his antics. 
a deep, insistent desire to call for my brain and lose myself in its slowly builds, gnawing at my mind and distracting my attention. A lone bead of sweat trickles interminably down my brow. Sesson Landa notice my distance, inquiring, Are you all right, my lord? with almost genuine concern. Forgive me. Yeah, I will tolerate them, but only as so long as Ecotet demands. I'm very good, thank you. Right, uh, ooh, we have the Royal Court of my Kingdom is Court Grandeur Level 9. I'm just going to check uh, where we are in the world. We are 8th in the world. We're only beaten by the Byzantines. The Anatolicon, the Abbasid, West Francia, East Francia, Jared of Al Andalus, and the Merced of Al Sark. Ooh! And Al Akatim would be better than them in our courts. they here. That's good. Let's come out of the court. We're done with that. Let's get back to business. And if you've come through to this far, please like and subscribe for more content of this uh, of this this play series. I am really having fun with this play series. And thank you all for the views in the last episode as well. It's quite a lot of views there. But I do see that many of you are not following me, so it'll be really great if you do. And uh, find tapestry is destroyed and the army. We need to help. My allies. Oh. Oh. We couldn't quite do it properly. That didn't go to plan. Invalidated the peasant uprising has ended. It is no longer valid to continue. Right, so the challenge! I am sparring with one of my soldiers, sweat beading on my forehead. When I experience the uncanny sensation of being watched, I look over at my soldier's shoulder. I spot my vassal, Bermond, who waves at me. I walk over to greet him. We talk about we weapon practice for a while. Trading tricks and advice, just as I am about to leave for another round, Count Berman's face lights up and he suggests we practice together. Ooh, practice six, uh, challenge accepted. An axe at my throat. The sounds of spear clashing against axe echoes between the courtyard walls. All eyes are on us. Everyone wants to see their king fighting his vassal. I must be tired from my previous practice because I am moved sluggishly, unable to keep up with my opponent. When I lunge, he is already gone and my parries come at the very last moment. It is not long before I find myself on the ground before him. I yield, well fought. Okay, so let's check the war numbers. Okay, so we're now kind of even on the amount of soldiers. So if that's the case, what we should do... Oh, I went to Genoa. That's where they fled, so let's stay at Genoa. Where's my allies? They're making their way back. I don't know what my allies were thinking of trying to take them on their own. Benedict comes of age, thank you, they grow up really fast. And Magnus is 53 now. So we need to get in a position where we can recover some of our men. 
and we've gained another level of straps. There we go, 109 straps. I'm not too concerned by that. Ooh, hints. Ooh, some prisoners can be ransomed. Since, nah, uh, defeats, yep, yeah. mercenaries, yep, yeah. packs, right, let's get men at um, arms, envelopment, yep, yeah, men at arms counter efficiency 25%. More hints, you're not married, hold court, air unmarried. Oh, I thought he had a marriage. Um, yeah, he did have some. He did have children. Benedicta and Dolka. Granddaughter and Dolka. Granddaughter. Okay, let's get you married to someone. Right, we need particularly alliance power, particularly. Something sensible. Let's ch check the alliance power on this one. 5,000. And the next one down, 2,000. Oh, I need the power, we need the 5,000 men, send the proposal. Thank you. So with that, I can call my ally. And have a new ally. And I just gotta wait for them to arrive. Wow, a duke. Where are they? There they are, coming on the way. Artifact seized. Oh, we took a slap that time. I'm happy with that. Right, let's go to that one. What, what's my allies doing? Please don't go too close to them. I would be delighted if your son Peter could visit my court in Alborasin to meet his peers. Yeah, I'll we'll go there. And mental break resentment. Why must I always do everything myself? How can I be expected to rule over Barcelona true? When half my servants are incapable of following my orders, and the other half does not even understand them. Ava in particular has become unbearable as of reason. I can barely stand to hear my daughter's incessant prattling. You have nothing but to rattling rich, or you'll just have to endure. Um, I will just have to endure. Undisciplined recruits. Who? Um, 80, 80. I, I'm going to go with the last one. Chastise him for his failure. Ooh, 
Wilfred Daw is no longer my court jester. They've passed away. Just check that nobody in my council has passed away and they haven't. I'm not going to replace a few tastes or anything. Oh, and my new allies have arrived. Let's. Ooh, Nasty Coles uh, is by many considered a paragon of the Karaite virtue. His spotless conduct and tireless work as a scholar and a preacher have helped reinvigorate the faith significantly in the past, last few years. Nice. Right, let's go to Mantua with my allies in tow. Is that actually enough? Oh, actually, not to Mantua. Go over to this side. Across the river here. Where are they going now? Oh, it's Count Vass, my rival, and vassal Count Morello is plotting to kill me. Wait, where are they going? Right, they're coming back now. I need you. They got seven, let's go. I've arrived in August, showing them at once. I accept your generous guests, thank you very much. Child of my destiny, uh, may you grow strong and wise. Oh, eh, oh this is our life bit contingent. No! Okay, that didn't go to plan. And I've lost the county of Hoskar and two other titles to King Carlo of Italy. To the spineless King Magnus, you love your low characters, the subject of Greek plays. This war has gone for too long. I am glad to put an end to it. I accept your surrender. So they forced me to surrender. Oh, so they've taken Italy. That's my first major loss. So let's have a look at the map. Whoa, they've taken a huge swathe of it there. So that's the end of the war, though. Uh, let's get this army disbanded. Right, so we've lost Italy and some bit other bits of territory. And they've taken, created their own kingdom. And who is it? King Carlo. So that uprising I was not able to quell. And with that is, that's the end of this episode. And we still got the Byzantine Empire as well next to us. So we might not be able to create an empire of, from Italy unless we can find a way to 
get more territory back from them, which actually now that they have taken that they're actually in a position of being inferior to us and they've taken also this territory as well from us whoa right anyway that's all that that's all for this episode thank you all for watching and see you on the next one look forward to it